Hello YouTube, so welcome to yet another new video. So today we're back with a second haul video. Bit of a different change of scenery, just to change it a bit. I'm actually sitting at my desk. Just change the scenery a bit, see what you guys think, whether you like this, whether you prefer how it used to be. Um, so today, the 18th, as I'm recording this video, it's the 18th of May, and it is my birthday. So, um, this will be going up on the 19th of May, but for this whole video, I wanted to do showcase what I got for my birthday. So, let's get right into it. First, with some deluxes and two packs. So, the only deluxe we actually have here is the elusive Tokyo Mater with oil stains from, to from Tokyo Mater. Extremely hard to obtain now. When you can find one, it is very expensive, so I'm grateful to have gotten one in the collection. I still need a loose one, but this is a start. I've got 2013 two-pack from the Will World Motel series. Hudson Hornet Piston Cup Light McQueen and Sally. And there is a little table there. Nothing super special, but... Here's a much more interesting two-pack, which is Tubbs Pacer with Paint Spray and Tolga Trunkov. As far as I know, this is quite an expensive two-pack now. I got these, I do have these loose, but I got them when they were re-released in 2017 in the London Chase series. As much as people like the crap on 2017, it was actually quite good for re-releases, in my opinion. Helped me fill a lot of gaps in my collection. Quite like the backing photo here. Actually, a couple more two packs. Got Doug Speed Check and Palace Danger Finding Missile. So, Palace Danger Finding Missile was released in 2020 as a single from Thailand. It's been released this year again in a five pack from Thailand with Holly, Francesco, McQueen, and Finn, and sorry, made it with headset. We have John and Nancy from Paris Tour Series 2014, Cars 2. So named after John Lasseter and his wife Nancy. John Lasseter is the director of Cars 1 and 2 and executive producer on Cars 3. Doesn't have any involvement with Cars on the Road though because obviously he's no longer at Pixar anymore. Paris Tour series had some very nice releases, in my opinion. I'm disappointed we never got to see it again after that. Last two pack got Sean Crash and Sal Bacciani, Macchiani. I don't know how to pronounce his last name, actually. So that's the 2014 variant of him, which is actually quite different to the 2011 one. So this is the 2014 All in All Blowout series from Cars 2. There's the back. It shows the good majority of releases from this series, except Toa Nowen, Jonathan Shift Co. And there's one other that I can't remember at this time who it is. I'm quite surprised Gremlin with camera and Ace with headset weren't in this series, actually. That would have made more sense than having them in the Lemon series, but oh well. Because well, the Lemon series actually based... That year is actually based on the casino meeting in Porto Corsa. Would have made most sense to have them in the Walmart. Would have actually saved them money if they just combined the series, two series, but oh well. Is there any noise in the background? That is just my cat, so don't mind him. I've got, I've got an error here now. It's Raul Sarul with Jeff Gorbett's name tag. I'm going in my box. I have a special box set aside for all my errors. Error collection. I am waiting on another error that is on a few errors that are coming in from the States, and then I'll be doing error collection part two. Got Otis on Cars 2 card. Another release that's nothing special. Marlon Clutch's McKay on the 
2013 Piston Cup series card. He's been re-released several times since 2019 and 21 he's just re-released again earlier this year in January or February I think. I can't remember if he was first released in case B or C I believe it was case C though. But yeah, correct me if I'm wrong. A couple more 2013 singles we got. Rusty Rusties. The 2013 Rusty's Racing Series. Rusty of Cuban Cars 1 and 3. And then Lightning Ramon from the Retro Radiator Spring Series. I just want to understand why they chose to release Lightning Ramon. It should have been old school Ramon. Cruising Ramon, whatever you want to call him. And then Daryl Cartrip with Headset in the World Grand Prix Series. They've only released him once since, I believe. Yeah. In the 2017... 2017 World Grand Prix Reporters Series, I believe they... Yeah, that was when they re-released him, so which actually does surprise me, as Brent and David with Headset, they got... They got re-released so many times, it wasn't funny. They got re-released every year from 2013 to 17. Actually, that, well, David wasn't released in 2007. I guess, yeah, so. Out of, out of the three announcers that were with headsets, Brent Mustangberg was released every year from 2013 to 17. David from 2013 to 16. And Daryl, David, 2013 and 17, which really is quite confusing if you ask me, but whatever. Race Team Luigi and Guido, the Cars 2 Festival Italiano series. And last but most certainly not least, it's Holly Shiftwell from the Palace Chaos series in Cars 2. Yeah, Holly Shiftwell was screen, sorry. I had one on card, but I didn't have one loose, so I'm glad to finally have one loose. It was released in Australia, but I never got it for some reason, because I was taking a break from collecting for a period of time. But Somehow that is actually the only break I've ever taken from collecting. I'm back in business now. In 2013, I didn't take a break for a couple of months. And I got right back into it, and I've been going strong ever since. So this is one of the, die -ca one of the few diecasts I missed out on because of my break, sadly. And a couple more recent singles. Good Greg Candyman, 2015 Piston Cup series. I believe he's actually quite, he's actually quite rare, rare on this card. International card with the Daredevil Garage logo. Uh, Finding Face Mater is next. Cars 2 is 2017 London Chase series. Not great card, but much better card than the one I already have. So that is replacing the one I have on the old card. Next is Snot Rod from the 2020 Tuners series. Once again, the one I, loose one I had out of the grill decal was going down to the mouth for some reason. They'd really poorly misplaced it, so I'll be opening this one to replace that. Next up, we have quite a few final lap ones. Good Johnny. Not the greatest card, but oh well. Dexter Hoover with Checkered Flag and Pit Crew Member Sarge. They were like, a fun fact, they actually released two variants of Pit Crew Member Sarge in the Final Lap series. One without the USA logo and one with, because that was when they started phasing out the USA logo on the Sarges. And one with the USA, like, one without the, sorry, the one with the USA logo is extremely expensive now. This one doesn't have it, but I found that quite interesting actually. Last time I saw one on eBay, I believe they were asking about, with the USA logo, where they were asking about $800 for it, which is ridiculous, if you ask me. Next up is Artie, which, cool on this card, but nothing special. They've re-released him a handful of times since. They've since this this was his first release, but they've since they've re-released him in 2016, 17, and 22. 
two other cars that aren't really anything special because they've been re-released a few times since. Marilyn and Antonio Valese Excelente. coming from outside that's just trucks and stuff driving up the street I seem to have that happen quite a lot Bert and Nick stickers Nick stickers has been re-released so many times it's not funny but been released two maybe three times I know he's been released 2015 in a single and 2000 and last year 11 pack might have been he had one other release, maybe two, because like, I know, I believe it was, it was one of the Toys R Us 10 pack or something with Mac and Cruise and Light McQueen and Dashboard and Cafe Copter, Ron Hover, etc. I believe he was in that, but I don't know for sure. Now for two that are actually quite interesting, not been re released for quite a while. First is Skip Richter. This was his only release. Valerie Veet. Uh, I did not have it all, so it's actually my first Valerie, which I'm quite glad to have. Whoops. Don't mind my computer screen turning off there. There we go, sorry. Ah, oh, Matthew True Blue McCrew, he's been re-released a ridiculous amount of times as well. He's nothing cool. He was actually a slight variant with the expression having his eyes up a bit more and this release and they lowered them lowered the eyes for all the other releases. Is Maddie been re he's been oh shit, I can't remember, been released maybe once since in two thousand and seventeen. I believe that was a unibody variant. Then Marty Breakburst, been re-released two or three times since. So now, for another group of singles that I've gotten today, on my birthday. Oh, let's put them on the table over here and let's bring them over now. Start with some... World of Cars singles from 2008. Dot Hudson. The Fabulous Hudson Hornet, sorry. The one I needed, I did not have yet on this card. Another one I got is Ghost Light Ramon. Another one I did not have on this card. The seller had placed, the got, person I bought it off had placed a stupid price tag on the front, so I wish if I'd tried to take it off, it will damage the card, as you can see, so I've had to leave it like that, which is it's quite annoying, but you got to do what you got to do. Next is Donico Chick Hicks. Quite hard to find on this card, I believe. I don't know for sure though. I do have a bit of an emotional attachment to the world of cars, cards really, because those were the ones I first started collecting. That was the car, those were the type of card available in the stores when I first started buying. So those are the ones I grew up with really. That and Racer Rama. Those were really the first few ones I grew up with. Next we got two. Race tow truck Toms. He's not easy, he's not easy to find, but he has been re-released a few times since. Chucky, who 
despite of not like she hasn't been re-released since final lap. Rip, fixed eyes Chucky's not been re-released since Race Arama. Lenticulars hasn't been released since final lap. Despite that, she's still extremely easy to find somehow. Who knows why, to be honest. Such an odd release, but I like her. I wonder if they'll bring her back one day. My guess is no, but it would be cool to see. Now for some race Rama singles. There are five of them. Chuck Manifold, another that hasn't been re-released in a very long time. I hate how all these stupid price tags and stickers and labels and crap are all bit on the die casts. Oh, there's Paddy there, so there's the next one. I really like, despite the fact that she isn't anything hard or special, rare to find, rare or special, hard to find, anything like that. For some reason, I still really like her. I don't know why, there's something about her. I remember seeing her when she first came out, not being able to... Passing on her for some silly reason. I remember my local Target had bins full of Race Rama cars. I remember seeing Paddy in there and passing on her. And I was like, why did I pass on her? So I was really happy to find out that Ray. I remember come late 2015, I was really happy to find out they were re releasing her the next year. So I got her, I opened her, got another one to keep on card a couple years later. No, no, around the same time I got a Race Rama Paddy to keep on card and there's a loose one that I'm likely opening for the segmented variant. If I can figure out where exactly it exists, we'll see, figure out how exactly it's a variant. So the French Boulder Cars website does say it's a variant though. Then Cafe Copter. Nothing really special, but I believe I need her on this card. If not, then I'll open her because I do need a China one loose. I did get the Thailand one loose when it first came out at the end of 2020, but no one, no China one loose. Sorry, I believe I have, a, I do believe I have a China cafe copter on that card, but I can't remember if it's US card or international card. Particular pick, remember Guido? Nothing special. I just didn't have him on this card yet. Same with. Dynaco Light McQueen or Piston Cup, except these are far more interesting release. I do have the King with Piston Cup and I have sorry, I do have Chick with Piston Cup and I have the King with Piston Cup coming from the States. So that will complete the collection of them of the three with piston cups. I don't know why they released the Dynaco Light McQueen out with Piston Cup out of all the Lama Queens I could have released with a piston cup. It's a bit odd, but whatever. I will say the only Light McQueens I've released with piston cup are Dynaco Light McQueen and Cars 3 Light McQueen, but I could be wrong, I can't remember. Any anchor, anyway, Vladimir a trunk of. Nothing that special. Louis LaRue. I wish releases like this. Some of the more unique releases got a bit more attention. That's what I like about cars too. It had such fascinating and interesting releases. Race Team Sarge with headset. It's been re-released once or twice since. Same with Carla Veloso with Flames. Considering Mattel's going with the theme of re-releasing sort of 2019, 2020, 2021 releases this year, I'm... I, Expect that they will likely re-release Carla and Nigel with Flames. I, I, hi, I do highly expect that will happen. Wouldn't surprise me, but if they don't, then it won't. It'll be cool if they do, but if they don't, then it won't be much of a loss either. I just hope they give her this artwork again, because they gave her just plain Carla Veloso artwork in 2020, and that was just stupid. Shame on you, Mattel. And last but not least, we are somehow left with... One of the most boring ones possible to finish off, which is Race Team Fillmore with headset. So, yeah. I suppose I did it for the haul, actually. Not suppose it is. It is that it is it for the haul. So, you'll know what you guys thought. Any favourites, any least favourites. 
hope you're actually doing better than I am because currently I have COVID and I'm stuck in isolation. Luckily my symptoms are barely severe at all. I start off with a bit of a sore throat, runny nose for the first few days and after but I felt fine now but I've still got two or three more days left in my isolation period before I can get out. But yeah, so luckily symptoms aren't severe. Um, all I can say is take the basic precautions, wear a mask, get vaccinated, that sort of stuff. I'm not trying to push anything on you guys, but I do recommend take precautions like that. That's all I can say really. If you want to try and make sure COVID doesn't really affect you, well, here comes my cat. Okay, well that is it for the video everyone. So yeah, please remember to like, subscribe, comment, favourite, share, let me know what you thought of my haul, some of your favourites, least favourites or whatever, and I'll see you all in the very next video.